This was a world of distinct hierarchies, where the size of a number dictated everything, even though it was clearly number 9, who threw the paper plane. The classmates falsely accused number 0, the teacher struck number 0 with a stick. After class, number 7, 8, and 9 hung out together, while number 4, 5, and 6 played as a group. Only number 0 stood alone, watching from the sidelines. Number 8 invited number 0 to join them, but it was only a mockery, and number 0 was hung upside down on a tree. The passing sanitation worker, seeing the number 0 on his body, chose to ignore him. When it came time to find a job, due to his low status, he couldn't even land a single job. Shopkeepers would toss him a coin to shoo him away, but he always picked it up optimistically, giving it to other number zeros begging nearby. He had to live in a garbage dump, feeding on scraps from the trash bins, spending his nights amidst the refuse. One day, he encountered a group of higher-ranked numbers, bullying a smaller one. He tried to scare them away, but instead, it drew a vicious beating upon himself. Just when he felt hopeless, a girl appeared, 